Hi everyone, and this is my video about a technique that is really, really helpful for cluttering, for cluttered speech, and for making your um, speech much, much um, smoother than it is right now. So I, I came up with this technique because I, um, I noticed that when I answered a question that it was a lot different than the way other people answered questions. And so for, um, for a while I kept asking people questions and then after they answered the question, I would um, quiz them about what's the process you went through in formulating your answer. So I noticed that people that speak very, very well um, use, this, um, use this model and it's the outlining model. And it's, um, it's a, like, like to describe it, it's a really simple tech um, technique. You just, uh, when you ask a question, you think for a few seconds and come up with a three point outline of what you're going to say. And then when you start um, answering your question, then you say those uh, three things that was in your outline. So um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show this show this technique to you. I have this website in front of me with a bunch of questions, and I didn't like like half of the questions, so I might have to um, skip some of them. So so basically, I'm gonna ask a ask myself a question, then uh, um, the first the first time just start talking about like how I would usually answer it, and then the, and then the second time um, use the outlining method. Okay, what is something that most people learn? Only after it's too late. I don't like that question. Uh, okay, what is the best way the one percent could? And I don't even know what the one percent are. Um, I think that's like rich people or something. Okay, what? How many friends do you have on Facebook? And how many actually mean something to you? Okay, so um, how many friends do I have on Facebook? I have two thousand four hundred and so, no, two thousand five hundred and something. Um, every single one of my Facebook friends means um, something to me, um, except for I think I think there are like two or three spam uh, accounts that I have. So um, one of the things that I always do is when I uh, when I get a friend request from someone I don't know, then um, um, and and it looks kind of spammy. Um, I never delete it, but I always wait for like a year to see if um, to see if. If 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 um, if they're if, if they're spam and so that um, that um, stops me from getting spam accounts and then the other thing is uh, Facebook actually has a limit of five thousand friends and right now I'm like half the way to that limit and I have like four or five friends that are like right at the five thousand limit and so I want to um, get uh, five thousand friends so I. Um, um, uh, uh, one of my uh, one of my thing or one of my big questions is how do I find um, um, how do I meet two thousand five hundred more people? So anyway, uh, that's my uh, that's my stock answer, and as you can tell, it kind of jumped all, uh, around all over the place. So and and I think I deviated from the actual question. Um, okay, so 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 with the outlining technique, um, how many friends do you have on Facebook, and how many actually mean something to you? Um, if I were to think about that, then I would think, oh, well, probably um, probably a, a more interesting answer is to pick like somebody that's a good Facebook friend and then tell a story about that. So that, that should be one of my points. Uh, one of my points should be how many friends I have on Facebook, um, which is, um, which, which if I, if I pre-think about that, then I'll know. Like, or I guess I could look it up. But, but this, um, this is this isn't a research question. So I'm just going to say 2,500. Okay. So uh, point number one is how many, um, how many friends do I have on Facebook? Point number two is how many of them mean something to me. Um, point number three is oh uh, point number three is that like one of my uh, one of my goals is to have five thousand friends but um, but how do I meet two thousand four two thousand five hundred more um, friends so okay so, uh, so so basically then the the outline of how um, the outline is uh, the outline is uh, answer the question of how many how many friends um, talk about talk about some talk about a friend that means something to me, and actually I'll um, I'll talk about Ken Ken St. Louis because he's one of my Facebook friends and um, and I just got a notification yesterday that uh, that that I took a picture with him like three years ago. 
Um, and then, um, and then, and then my goal to make um, two thousand five hundred more friends. Okay, so. Um, So here's the question. How many friends do you have on Facebook and how many actually mean something to you? And, and usually when really good speakers get a question, they don't start answering right away like I did. They'll think, and then especially if it's a difficult question, they might think up to like 30 seconds before they give their answer. So anyway, um, let me go through my points again in my head. So I have 2,500 Facebook friends, and every one of them means something to me. An example of someone that means a lot to me um, is Ken St. Louis. Um, he was actually in Thailand three years ago. We took a picture, and I just got a notification um, today or yesterday that um, it's been three, three years since I took that uh, picture. So um, Ken and, and all my other 2,499 friends mean, uh, mean something to me. And I actually have a goal of getting 5,000 Facebook friends because 5,000 Facebook friends is the maximum that, you, that Facebook will allow you to do. And so one of my questions is how do I go out there and meet 2,500 more people? So that's kind of my goal. The end. So um, I, th I hope you can see uh, the difference in my speech between when I didn't use the outlining method and then when I did use the outlining method. And then let me um, just, uh, this can be a, uh, uh, like for me, I don't know why I missed that and my friends that are really good speakers just like it came natural because I don't remember anyone actually teaching that in class. Like when you get a, like um, I don't remember any teacher saying, hey, hey, Joseph, don't start talking right, right now. Think for about a minute and then think of a way to organize, or um, think of three points, and then after, you, after you've thought of three points, then say them. Like, nobody ever taught that to me. Um, I'm not, um, maybe, maybe it's in, um, maybe some, um, yeah, I don't know why um, other people knew that, but I never knew that. Okay, if you could ask advice from any historical figure, who would it be? What would you ask them? So um, anyway, um, okay, um, I'll I'll do the I'll do the technique instead of just me like thinking through. Okay, um, okay. So after um, what I my initial reaction would have been to just start listing off people like um, Jesus. Um, uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., um, but uh, but I thought I thought a while and I thought of um, Fred Fred Rogers because he's kind of my hero and I guess he's historical now. Um, so anyway, mm -hmm. then and I'm still I'm, I'm still thinking of um, what would you ask them? Okay, so. So um, my um, my uh, my question my question is about um, my, my question for Mr. Rogers would be about how he was always interested in other other people, and and so I need um, I need three points. So um, so uh, oh uh, Mr. Rogers because he's my hero. I'd ask him. How did you come about? Uh, because I noticed in all of your interviews, you you always are really, really, or, or, or like like whenever you're talking to someone, you're always very, very interested in them. And um, where, um, like, what what experience did you have when you um, that 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 gave you that model? So so anyway, so my my points are number one, Mr. Rogers. Um, Mr. Rogers to answer the question. Number two, um, talk about how he was always really, really interested in people. And number three, how he, or um, like, like where, where he got that from. Did he get it from like a teacher or are, uh, um, are his parents always very interested in like, um, like him? So um, when, when he got home from school, that his mom always say, oh, hey, hey, um, Fred, um, 
um, what's important to you today? And, and I think I actually already know the answer to that question because I read some interviews and stuff, but, um, but that's, my, uh, that's my question. Okay, so, so now, um, and I think, um, I think me thinking through that took, um, took about like two minutes. And as, as you can tell, it's really, it's kind of difficult for me. And I think it's difficult for a lot of people with cluttering. And so you might actually want, um, like if you're using this as, as a therapy technique, you might want to um, at first, uh, um, at first model a few times and then have the person write down on a piece of paper the, um, the three things, uh, the three things for their point and then and then put them together. Okay, so um, just so I can remember, so I can actually do this technique is one, Mr. Rogers, two, talk about how he's interested in other people, and three, did um, how, uh, where, uh, where he got that from or who he learned it from. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, if you could ask advice from any historical figure, who would it be, what would you ask them? So the answer to that is my uh, personal hero, Mr. Rogers. Um, he's one of the coolest people that I've ever um, like. Like I watch, um, I watch his kids ki kids show, and I learn a lot about interacting with people, even as even as adult, an adult. Um, he just has a lot of really really good um, high quality stuff in there. So the question. Um, uh, the question the question that I would ask ask him and I noticed that on his I noticed that on his program whenever he meets someone then he's always very very interested in the other person and he always says hey what's um, what's special about you what's um, what's what are the things that you're interested in and and a lot of um, a lot of people with um, a lot of people that are supposed to be like caring people will will do that in, on interviews. Uh, when a when when a, when someone's interviewing them, then then the caring person tries to turn it back around and say, "Hey, well, I know you're interviewing me, but tell me about what uh, tell me about yourself." So, uh, which uh, which isn't the point of the interview, but the um, the person like like Mr. Rogers or a priest or so, someone like that um, kind of has to show that they're um, that they're like a good person, so they're more interested in other people. And I've never seen anyone actually pull that off except for Mr. Rogers, because when people are uh, when people when um, the few interviews that I've seen with Mr. Rogers, he just really um, he just really asks the person, and and it's very it's very very interesting, and you and you see like Mr. Rogers as the person's um, you, um, you see Mr. Rogers' personality um, as as the person saying, oh, I really love your show, and it's so awesome, and and I've been watching you since I was a kid, and you meant a lot to me because of all your songs, and um, so so anyway that. Um, that, uh, that, uh, that whole process, uh, that, uh, that's, my, uh, that's my question is, why are you always asking about other, other people? And my, and, and, and my reason for that is, or, um, and kind of a follow-up question is, I'm pretty sure that someone in Mr. Rogers' life was really, really interested in him, so I'm really interested in how, how he got that technique and how um, and did, did he have a parent or a teacher that was just very, very interested in him that he learned that technique from and, and, and how did Mr. Rogers learn that technique? Okay, so that's, um, that, um, that's the answer to my question. And um, I, don't know if, um, I don't know if this would be uh, um, obvious, but, um, but the, more, uh, the more that I actually answered that question, um, the more fluid I would get with my answer, especially, especially if I do the, um, especially if I keep going with the outline and then keep revising it. Uh, that's, uh, that's another technique is answering the same question over and over and over and over again until you have a really, really good um, speech. But, uh, but, but this, uh, this technique is just about outlining. So let me see, I think, um, question 12, inter it's not really a question, interesting conversation topics. 13, which of your personality traits has been the most useful? Um, okay, so um, so so this um, this is another one, and I think I'll use it, give an example of me just um, talking. So, so what I would normally say, personalities traits um, for for me, cluttering is actually um, useful. Um, the thing the thing that I the, uh, the thing that's ma that has made it hard for me to stop cluttering is that I always want to be original with my speech. 
Um, so so I, I, I really like having original ideas. I really like saying things in an, in an original way. Um, I really like when I write something and I take a like phrase that I've said or uh, that I've written and then I Google it and it says zero search results. Then I feel like, hey, I'm the first person to say this phrase before. And then um, it, and that might seem like it's cool, but I, I see that as very, very related to cluttering. Um, and uh, because if you're always thinking of something new, then you uh, will always have um, kind of jagged speech because you're not actually practicing and it's really, really hard to just go from um, something completely original into something, um, something fluid and where, where, uh, where speech makes sense. Okay, so 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 applying the applying the outline. Uh, uh, that's my uh, that's just my like regular answer. So the outlining technique. Let me see the question again. Which of your personality traits has been the most useful? So so the the literal answer to that question, which I didn't answer actually answer in my question, was that um, I always um, I always like to be original, and. Um, and because I wasn't thinking about it, I only talked about like how that's related to cluttering. I didn't talk about how that is, um, how that's cool, I guess. Um, so, so anyway, the, pers the personality trait is I always try to be original. Um, the, um, the, um, the one point I made when I was just um, stream of consciousness answering was that I, what was it, that I, Oh, that I um, that I get. Um, I like I like saying new things and and um, saying things in original ways. And I Google myself. So googling myself is point number two. But that should probably be point number three. Um, what um, and then how how has it been useful? I never actually answered that. Um, oh, I. Um, I like to I like to think of I like to think of new um, new things. So I think um, like I think a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in the series is new and interesting um, for people and 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 hope and hopefully it is. And so just my like way of looking at things originally also helps me to come up with um, cool techniques like this out this outlining technique, which I actually borrowed from somebody else. So um, that's actually not too original. But I guess the original thing is that I um, asked the person the question um, asked. Um, asked a bunch of people the question and figured out that's how uh, people that speak well think. So, okay, so pers uh, personality, um, so, so the, um, the answer to the personality question or the, uh, the outline is number one, it's that I always try to be original. Um, point number two is that me being original helps me to come up with cool techniques like these cluttering videos and also, I teach um, I teach English um, as as a hobby here in Thailand sometimes. Um, so so it helps me helps me to come up with um, cool techniques for that. And then point number three is that I see that as really related to cluttering. And part of um, what yeah uh, um, I see that as part as really related to cluttering uh, because um, because you can't always say something new and speak fluidly. Okay, so let me go over my, my outline again. Um, point number one is I always try to be original. Point number two is being original helps me come up with um, cool and interesting techniques. And point number three is I see that being original is related to cluttering. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the question and answer. Which of your personality traits has been the most useful? So I would say that my personality trait that has been the most useful for me is that I always try to think of original stuff. And that's been helpful for me because I'm able to do things like make these cluttering videos where I come up with a lot of new and original techniques that uh, people haven't used before in um, speech, th speech therapy or in trying to improve their um, speech. And, and then it's interesting that actually being original I see as, as being really related to cluttering 
because at one point when I was a kid, I wanted to be so original that I wasn't ever reusing any of my same speech. And so my speech was much, much less fluid than it is now. And so, um, and so uh, yeah, that's my, that's my answer. So, um, so, so that's uh, that's the third example question of before and after, and then hopefully, um, hopefully, I've done enough of these examples so it makes sense that um, so it makes sense about the uh, the outlining technique, and then the other thing the other thing to say about outlining is is you can actually outline with a whole bunch of different ways, like like how um, how was your, um, the question how was your day. You can uh, you can start from uh, you can start from morning uh, morning noon uh, like like a cr uh, chronology um, part of things. Um, you can start from distance, saying okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna describe all this stuff over um, starting with my house and then go to the farthest place that I went um, during that day. Um, you could uh, you could describe with colors. Um, you could describe with the things that you eat, like um, have your answer revolve around um, each of the meals. And so there are lots and lots of different ways that you can use um, the, uh, the that you can use the outlining technique just a lot of different outlines and a lot of different ways to structure and frame your sentence so or um, to structure and frame your answer so anyway hopefully this has been helpful and thanks very much for watching um, goodbye